guys, welcome back to my channel and bonjour for beautiful Paris. We are back in my favorite city. It's actually not that long ago that we visited Paris. It was in June this year, so if you follow my YouTube, you might have seen this video. Now as the Christmas season started, we thought it's the perfect time to visit one of our favorite cities once again because I always wanted to see Paris in December with all the Christmas lights and all the beautiful Christmas decorations up. We just checked in at our hotel which is Hotel Nuage, uh, located directly in the city center. It's in walking distance from the Galerie Lafayette. We spent almost our entire day in Galerie Lafayette and in the department store next to the Galerie which is Printemps where last time I was so lucky to find my beige small classic flat there at Chanel. So we checked out some boutiques there, had a nice little lunch at Coco and then we strolled back and did lots of photos of all the beautiful streets. I really had to stop at almost every corner because it's just so perfect. The architecture in Paris is so stunning. I will definitely show you some footage that I got along our walk. Yeah, now we will quickly unpack our stuff and then get ready for dinner. We will head out for dinner with one of my colleagues at work who is based in Paris or actually close to Paris so I'm really looking forward to this because I've never met her in person before and yeah then we will probably sit down and make a plan for tomorrow we have actually no plan what to do tomorrow yet I mean probably we'll do a little bit of shopping but yeah whatever we will be up to I will definitely take you with me I hope you will enjoy this vlog Love this view, it's so pretty. Good morning guys! We just started our second day in Paris and look at this view, it's so so pretty, isn't it? We just had breakfast and today we are going to have a little shopping day. So we'll probably start with Poussin Honoré and check out the YSL store there, maybe stop by MS. I tried to get an appointment, but I did not get lucky so far, so maybe we'll just pop into the store and see what we can find. I tried again for tomorrow to get an appointment, so let's see if today in the evening we get a positive reply, fingers crossed. It's actually the last chance for us because on Sunday MS is closed, so yeah, we'll see if we will get lucky. I would really like to get a bag, especially in Paris, this would be such a dream, but let's see if fortune will be on our side. 
Um, yeah, then maybe today in the evening we might stop by the Eiffel Tower. So yeah, of course I will take you with me and we'll see what we're up to. And I hope you could understand me now because there is a little construction site down there. And it's quite noisy, but I have my microphone, so I hope it's good enough and you can understand me. wearing a beige pair of Sara pants, my Chimichu Hawaii pearl sneakers, a cashmere knit, but I don't remember where it's from. And then we have this cozy Abercrombie Sherpa coat, which is super warm. So perfect for a stroll for Paris because it's actually quite cold. It has like zero to maximum three degrees in the city, but we will be in stores anyways. It's always a struggle if outside it's so cold and then the inside you're always starting to sweat. But yeah, having a good layer look. Oh yeah, and accessory wise, I am wearing my MS Kelly belt in gold. And for the bag of the day, I'll probably go for my Dior saddle bag. So this is today's bag, my Dior saddle. And then I will wear my new Balenciaga sunglasses because the sun actually just came out, which is really nice. And that's it. That's the fit of the day. Let's go. Oh, and for the jewelry, I'm wearing my Jacquemus bracelet today, my Chanel Coco Crush ring, and for the earrings, I'm wearing my little Chanel studs.
Paris just started for us and we already had breakfast and I got myself ready for the day. So this is my outfit, all cozy in this oversized cardigan from Aritzia, a pair of black pants, wearing some New Balance sneakers and I'll put a black coat on top and then we will head out to the flea market in Saint-Ouen where we already were in June and it was so nice that we wanted to go back and check out if we find some more treasures there and yeah then the plan is to go for lunch at Pink Mama it's a very well-known Italian restaurant and I've heard that the truffle pasta is very good there so of course we have to test it I think it's already the third truffle pasta on this trip so we really did some truffle pasta testing and yeah so far i have to say they were all super delicious so yeah very curious on the pink mama one which is quite hyped and then the afternoon we will spend at la venue montaigne do a little bit more shopping maybe but i really want to go to the dior gallery which i missed out in june we've seen the store but not the gallery because we were too late so this is definitely on the plan for today and then in the evening we will probably head to the Eiffel Tower and to see it sparkling in the night when it's dark and if we have enough time we would also like to check out Le Village Royal which is um, like a small how do you say like a small village of stores and the Christmas lighting and decoration is absolutely beautiful there so if we have enough time, we will also try to check this out. And yeah, that's the plan for today. And yesterday we went shopping the entire day, basically. And we were quite successful, I have to say. I can show you a little sneak peek in a minute. All the Christmas gifts are basically sorted. And also for myself, I found some beautiful stuff. So stay tuned for an unboxing video. And on the first day at Galerie Lafayette, I also got myself a new lipstick. It's a Gucci one love the packaging it's so beautiful i think this is also the perfect gift idea for any beauty lovers out there and it's this shade i already used it so don't mind it being a little bit smudged already but yeah this is a perfect nude shade for my skin tone i think it's a really pretty it's with the satin finish so it's not too matte but also not too shiny and the color is lorna dune really like this one I'm already wearing it, so and this is how it looks to me. All right, let's start the day and head out into the city again. As promised, here's a little sneak peek of our findings from yesterday. We got a little something from Maison Kitsune. If you don't know it, it's a coffee shop in Paris, or actually there are several ones, I think three or four locations. Coffee is very good there, so it's definitely a recommendation. We went to the one that is close to Le Louvre, um, which also has some merch. And there's also this fashion brand, uh, Maison Kitsune. So yeah, we found a little something there. And then we got something from Celine and also from Saint Laurent. And oh my gosh, guys, how beautiful is this Christmas packaging? It's so nice that it matches. It's exactly the same golden tone of a shopping bag. Very pretty, very festive. And then we also got some gifts for friends and family from Diptyque. And there's also a Christmas gift for me inside this white shopping bag here, which is from Chanel Ricombon. So stay tuned for a very nice unboxing video coming up soon. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing what we got in Paris. And this is the full look of the day. I got my New Balance sneakers on, the most comfortable for walking through the entire city. Then I'm wearing my little Fendi baguette bag, my Aritzia knit that I showed you before, black Asian and pants, uh, my Acne Studios wool scarf to stay cozy, and then I have my new Solaron sunglasses in case the sun comes out. And accessories of today are my Fendi earrings and my Chanel Coco Crush ring, my all-time favorite ring. Let's go and do some treasure hunting.
last day in Paris just started and we already checked out of the hotel and now we are on the way to the Louvre and we're just walking through the Chateau de Tuleti which is pretty empty at these early morning hours. Little recap about yesterday, we had lunch at Pink Mama which is honestly a little bit overrated if you ask me. I mean the truffle pasta was really not bad but I've definitely eaten better ones in like the more traditional street cafes or masseries so it's quite far from the city center and if you're only going there just for the restaurant I think it's not really worth it but of course if you're going to check out Momata you can definitely stop by <laughs> I mean the location is pretty nice and definitely worth a visit but as I said I expect a little bit more our Paris is so freezing cold right now it has like minus two degrees today so I'm all cuddled up in the biggest scarf I could find it's like two meters long so I wrapped it around twice what else did we do yesterday we also stopped by Dior at La Venue Montaigne which is always worth a visit and we shot a little bit at Celine so stay tuned for a very nice unboxing to come up. I found something that I have in my wishes for quite a long time. And here we are. to your gallery because yesterday we were too late and the queue was so long so let's try today again i hope that the queue is not that long today so yeah because this is also something that i have on my paris bucket list so to say um, yeah that's it for today are back from Paris and when going through the footage that I got I realized that I never filmed any closing words so of course I had to sit down and talk a little to you guys 
As you can see, we were more than successful when it comes to Christmas shopping. I mean, this is not all for me, no worries. There are also gifts for others, but there is a little something here and there that will also be lying under the Christmas tree for me. So of course, I'm going to film a huge Christmas gift unboxing. So stay tuned in case you're interested in seeing what hides inside all of these shopping bags. I mean, the Christmas packaging this year is absolutely gorgeous. You see here all the golden, bags from Saint Laurent and Celine, absolutely beautiful. And I think you've seen all the videos that I got. Paris at Christmas time is simply magical. So if you like that vibe, if you like city trips and if you're into Christmas decorations, you definitely have to go in December. It's just magical. It was so unforgettable. I really enjoyed the few days that we spent in the city and had such a great time and I'm so grateful. My heart is full. I think it was the most Christmas Eve perfect December for me this year. It's been a little over a year now since I started this YouTube channel and yeah, it was a very interesting journey for me. I learned how much effort it is to create videos and I definitely wanted to post more videos than I did, but it's a lot of work. So all the appreciation to all the content creators out there. You have my full respect, especially those who are doing vlogmas and posting a video every day. It's really crazy how much work it takes, but I hope you enjoyed watching my videos. Thank you for following along the past year. Of course, I will continue next year because it's so much fun and I really enjoy doing this. I would like to wish you and your loved ones a very Merry Christmas. Enjoy this magical time. Enjoy the time that you can spend with your family and friends. Make somebody happy. It's not all about the gifts, but more about the time that we can spend together. So make sure to make the most out of it and enjoy every moment. I'm looking so much forward to this time and to a more quiet season now. Take care of yourself, stay healthy, and yeah, just enjoy the moment and see you soon. Bye.